We are here with Linda Harrison, the executive director of the Museum of the African Diaspora, also known as MOAD. <laughs> and we're so happy to be here with you. And we are so grateful for your wholehearted participation in the Summer of Love 50th anniversary here in 2017. You're welcome. We love it. We cannot uh, even imagine the Summer of Love being celebrated without the MOAD factor. Yeah, it's really important because it really is about embracing all cultures and all people as our brothers and sisters and recognizing we are all one, you yes. know, one love, and the gr brilliant words of Bob Marley. Uh, I noticed I like you have that. his book down here in the gift shop, One Love, a children's book. And if, like if we can embrace that from child rearing through life, one love, maybe we can find the unity it'll take to bring us all together and care for each other once and for all. I like that. that that's what uh, we really embrace. When we have visitors here, we like to um, have them actually say the words, I am the diaspora. And just remind people that the diaspora um, is Afro-Cuban, Afro-Asian, Afro-Jewish, Afro-British, Afro-American. <laughs> right. That all of these shades of black come together here through our uh, um, displaying contemporary art in our exhibitions and connecting them to our pro public programs. Well, after all, we have to accept the fact that we are living in the now, in this day and age, and yes. we represent it in the way that we do currently, and we pay homage and a nod to yesteryear and the artistic expression therein, and that's what the recognition of the Summer of Love and the 50th anniversary, of course, is all about. And yes. like I said, you seem to have embraced wholeheartedly and jumped in and participated. Uh, your neighbors across the street, California Historical Society, oh, yeah? are, are at the, just the epicenter of all of the cultural happenings yes. that are engaged for Summer of Love. They're the uh, uh, California history. So uh, for them to be that effort center makes a lot of sense for us. We love Althea. She is my counterpart uh, over there across the street. And it just really centers us on embracing this summer of love because we're about displaying that love here at the Museum of the African Diaspora and participating in a way that we have yet another point of view, um, Jimi Hendrix. Um, everyone that I meet um, who may talk to me about uh, Jimmy, because we're doing the uh, um, uh, exhibition um, honoring Jimmy in 1967. Perfect. That particular year was just the year that this individual on the Monterey Pop Festival program, and he just became an international sensation. And for to have an African American be able to have that kind of impact so instantly, it just sort of blows our mind. And we said, we have to hone in and give that particular view. Wonderful, wonderful. It's yeah. a beautiful, yeah. really excited that you can share these photographs from that one special fateful year with oh, people yeah. who are, can come down to the Moat and take a look personally or check out some of the photos that go up online or et cetera. Right, right. Well, we particularly are uh, uh, allowing people to see that uh, exhibition free. You can walk in either from the uh, lobby of the St. Regis Hotel or from our Mission Street main entrance um, because a lot of people were born right around 67, 68, 69. <laughs> And we like to say that they were part of the uh, uh, Summer of Love experience. Right, exactly. But we continue that theme and uh, we'll bring you into, when you, once you come up into the galleries, then you're going to see um, a great exhibition by Todd Gray, uh, My Life with MJ and Iggy. And MJ happens to be Michael Jackson. Iggy is Iggy Pop. Mm -hmm. And so King how, Pop it all, and Mr. Pop, how it all connects together. <laughs> yeah, we, do we just absolutely love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So how about, you know, you have a whole, besides the Jimi Hendrix exhibition in-house at the museum, you have a lecture, panel discussion series, you have film series that all tie in with Summer of Love, some that are in conjunction with California Historical Society. Right, right. We're real excited about our film series. I'm a film uh, buff fan, um, traditional classic films, but also new films. Um, and uh, we're presenting um, uh, the Love Picture Show 
Is it the Love, love City Picture Love City Picture Show. Love City Picture Show. That's the series. <laughs> we we got to love that. Which really, those films focus on uh, the summer of love. So you'll see a uh, film with Jimi Hendrix. You'll see a uh, documentary uh, about um, Coltrane. Two very, very different yet avant-garde uh, figures. So we, we really like that. And we like um, connecting our public programming to our exhibitions. So there will also be conversations about film, about our new um, emerging artists um, program. Um, and we like to really have, whether it's a lecture series or uh, literature about literature or art or public performance, we like mixing that up because people sometimes may not want to stand and look at uh, the traditional image in the museum way. They may want to sit and have an interactive experience. And that's part of our continuing this type of programming through the summer. Perfect. What we like to go past the summer. Yes, you please. Know, it's, uh, it's much summer like summer of love. You know, How about yeah. forever of love? <laughs> right, right. You know, but, uh, people when uh, folks come around uh, to the museum or call us about uh, Black History Month, and we tell them we're black all year round. Yeah. We want to be in the summer of love all year round. Good, good. Well, what inspired you the most to participate with Summer of Love as a concept, anyway? Really, it's uh, our commitment to share with the public that how black folks, people of color, were part of this experience. That it was not just the Jimi Hendrix of the world or just the um, Black Panthers party. Um, it was those everyday people who were experienced and being impacted and they happened to be part of the black diaspora. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to um, um, have people be comfortable um, in learning about that from the Museum of the African Diaspora and just having fun and knowing that they contribute to it. We visited the City Hall exhibition of Jim Marshall photographs from 1967. Oh, yes, and yes. And there are pictures from That's the Human Being and, and um, the New Year's Day thing in, in the park. And, yeah. uh, just look at the pictures. If you want to see the diversity, if you want to see the, the yeah. demographic that were participating in the movement, in the, the concerts in the park, and um, the, the camaraderie and the vibe of Summer of Love that was yeah. that whole era in Haight-Ashbury and Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, the Bay Area, et cetera, et cetera. And you see a diverse crowd, and you see plenty of the African American community oh, represented in those pictures. A beautiful picture yeah. that comes to mind of Jerry Garcia, a couple of black kids there, uh, uh, an adult, and then just the usual mix of the others the hippies and the Hells Angels, and they're, they're all just there. It's communion. There's it was no all thought a, of yeah. it. Yeah, it was it's an like going international in Fillmore feeling. Street. There's no thought of it. Yeah. I, I was actually um, raised in Chicago, and uh, I remember that people were just so impacted seeing these images. And you're in Chicago, and like, what is this place called California? And they all are just like grooving with each other. And it always uh, impacted me that, um, particularly San Francisco, is that international diverse community of ideas as well as culture. And that is what we want to embody here every day at MOAD and it is what really led me to um, without a question know that we would participate in the Summer of Love. Perfect. Well now that we have and we're in it and we've come this far and been to some meetings and collaborated and brainstormed, what would you say is, is the takeaway you'd want to share with, with us and, and our audience and that, you, that warms your heart moving forward that, that you've, you've experienced as a result of the involvement in Summer of Love? That is a great question. It's almost like we have all been um, given permission to be kind to each other for this period of time called the summer here in 2017. But if we could actually take that and expand it and just be this way. This is what I'm seeing. People are excited to be part of it, excited to know about it, and their behavior has changed. It's like going to a Giants game and we're all happy. So this is a way to make us happy. I see that folks are really, we're looking for, uh, particularly in this uh, uh, current environment that we are in, mm -hmm. really waiting and looking for that opportunity to be loving to someone else who doesn't look like them. And really it's the perfect segue and I love your point about permission to be kind and we always love to wrap with a hug. I love it. Mm.